You going yet? All right, guys, welcome back. So today's video, we're gonna be working here with this. Uh, this is the GM 10 bolt rear end. Uh, we're just. I'm gonna show you real quick how to measure one backlash, so uh, ring and pinion backlash, and then ring gear run out. So. Two things that you're gonna to wanna to do, especially if you just put a new ring and pinion in, maybe you're wondering, hey, how do I set this thing called backlash that everybody's always talking about so that you know this new rear end lasts? That's how you do it. All right, so first off, you're gonna need a dial indicator. So pretty much how I set this up is I've got the magnetic base stuck right here on the diff cover uh, surface. And I've got the dial indicator right there on the tip of that tooth. Now I didn't get it, see I didn't get it in a groove or anything like that. It's actually on a spot where we're going to be uh, getting full contact. So backlash is essentially how much, so if you, these are your gear teeth right here. Essentially how much movement is in between those gear teeth, how much movement they have while in mesh, how much con gear con or tooth contact there is between the ring and the pinion gear. So essentially all I'm gonna do, is it doesn't have to be set to zero as long as you know how to count. Um, being I'm from Texas, that's usually questionable. So I'm just gonna rock the ring gear back and forth watch it move. See it moving? As you can see there, what is that, around there's six thousandths, around, yeah, about six, seven thousandths of, um, of backlash. So now I'm going to show you how to set it up to check ring gear run out. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the magnetic base. set this up kind of weird. I've got such a long setup. So I'm going to take a break right here. I'm going to set up the, uh, the ring gear. And when I come back, you're going to see me measuring right now. All right. So now I've got the dial indicator set up to measure ring gear run out. Just going to measure if that ring gear is just kind of doing any kind of, I mean, it's really over exaggerated, but any kind of play like that. So all I'm pretty much going to do is I'm going to grab the, uh, the yoke and turn the pinion gear. So it's going to turn the ring gear and we're just going to watch and see about how much uh, run out we have in the ring here. So, about three thousandths is what I saw. Not the best uh, dial indicator setup. I was kind of just rushing around trying to get this video filmed and the fact that this is a uh, this rear end sitting on a stand. It kind of wobbles. I can throw up. Excuse me, throw off my measurements a little bit. Um, so that's pretty much how to measure ring gear run out and backlash in your ring and pinion gears. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to wear your seatbelt, drink lots of milk, and don't talk to strangers. Have a good one.